today we're going to be doing the particle nature matter experiment. What you're going to need is some sugar, um, a glass throwing rod, uh, a 250 milliliter beaker uh, filled with 100 milliliters of water, and that's it. So what you're going to first do is mark the level of water. Uh, you'll see on the markings from the beaker that it's at 100 milliliters. And then what you'll want to do is just add some sugar to the beaker. And then you'll see that they um, sink to the bottom. Once you start with the glass stirring rod, um, you see that the sugar crystals disappear, but the level of the water um, remains unchanged. So as you may know, uh, matter is made up of small particles uh, called atoms. And what's happening here is that the sugar particles get distributed between the spaces of the water particles once you um, dissolve them. So once you've stirred up all the um, sugar and all the sugar dissolves, you'll see that the water level hasn't changed because the particles of sugar are now distributed between the particles of water. And it looks like it's disappeared, but really it's not. So today I'm going to be uh, doing the experiment, uh, motion of particles of matter. So all you need is a bottle of ammonia. So what you want to do is just put this in the corner of a room and remove the stopper. And You'll observe that the, the smell of the ammonia can be sensed when you're sitting at a distance, um, either across the room or anywhere. So this happens because the particles of ammonia are always moving. So this is a process called diffusion, and it's from the a high concentration to a low concentration, uh, and we call that a concentration gradient. So the particles of ammonia are moving down the concentration gradient, which is why you can smell it from a distance. So this happens with an incense stick um, as well. Uh, when you light an incense stick and you place it in the corner of a room, you can smell it, it um, in the room quickly because the particles of matter possess motion. And the burning incense stick produces gases um, that have a smell. So the particles of these gases due to motion uh, spread in the entire room and their presence can be felt by sensing the smell. So today we're talking about the motion of particles um, in water and ink. So all you need is a 250 uh, milliliter beaker and 100 milliliters of water in it and you just need food, food, food coloring as well. So what you're going to do first is just drop some blue ink and you have to um, ask the kids to observe what's happening to the blue ink as you drop into the water. So you see um, over time, the blue ink gets evenly distributed in the water, and this demonstrates that the particles in water and ink both possess motion. And due to the motion of particles, the particles of the two liquids, um, the water and the ink, are able to mix with each other.